All right. Happy Wednesday. Let's get going. Let's do some big shoulder rolls to the back and to the front. And then just take those feet about hip width apart. Give me a big stretch up and start taking it into a squat. Big stretch with a squat. You got it. Good. I'm going to take those arms out to a Y. Just kind of open up your back a little more. Awesome. And into reverse lunge. So we have, oops, don't step on your weights like I'm doing. Um, we have full body work today, upper, lower, core. Some cardio thrown in there. Getting that heart rate up. All right, take it over one shoulder, rotation. And into lateral lunges, side to side, pushing your butt to the back. Going nice and low. One more each way. Now we're gonna go into our forward fold, inchworm, dragonfly stretch. So look at those legs, get a good stretch. We'll take it to our knees for our first push up and then drag and fly stretch each side, letting those hips kind of fall forward to increase your stretch and walking it back in, going again. We're gonna do four of those. Maybe you can stay on your toes for your push ups now. read a new study, fairly new study, they did with people with hypertension and they had them just stretch 30 minutes a day, five days a week. And they had another group, we're gonna take our front back walk when you're done with four. They had another group do a do brisk walk 30 minutes a day, um, five days a week. They did the study for eight weeks and the people with that did the stretching reduced their blood pressure as much or more than the people that did the brisk walk so that's my plug for you to join me tomorrow for stretching <laughs> here i am talking about stretching at the beginning of our workout but we're taking our heart rate a little higher now so i moved from that front back walk into more of a run energy and I'm going to take some runs in my in a circle around my space when you do a, a run in a circle you want to do I'm going to do four one direction and four the other it does make a difference especially in these smaller circles like we're doing you really tend to lean one way or the other you want to even it out And then walk it out. Okay, so we have five exercises we're gonna do in our first set. And we're gonna be adding reps to each time we do them. So we're gonna start with five, only five repetitions of everything we do, then 10, then 15, then working up to 20. Our first exercise is gonna be dips. So I'm gonna be bending down and up with dips. Then I'm gonna do drop squats where I hold the weights right here, set them down, pick them up. And we'll count every time we pick them up. Then we're gonna go into swings. 
And then we'll go into Russian twist seated. Of course, I'll do all these with you. And then double pop squats, where we squat wide and squat narrow, jumping right here. And there's always options for low impact. But let's go ahead and start with our dips. So hands on, whatever you're gonna do. You could do kickbacks if it bothers your wrist. And we're only doing five, so let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice work. Bring it up. Don't you love the five rep set? Okay, so drop squats. I'm going wide with my feet, but toes forward. I'm gonna squat down and pick them up. That's one. Set them down. Every time I pick them up, I count two. And five. Now I'm gonna do a set of swings. So putting my weights together, hinging at the hips, five swings. Then I'm sitting down, Russian twist. So you could have your feet on the ground and it's one, one, two, two. Then you stand back up. And we have double pop squats. I call these double because we squat wide, squat narrow. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five. Okay, now we're gonna just take a quick recovery and we'll start it over, but our count will be 10. So, and if you ever need to grab a drink, the time to do it is when you finish your pop squats. Maybe just a small sip of water. And we'll go again. Count of 10. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And of course, your count doesn't have to be the same as mine. You might start before or after me. We'll be close. All right, 10 top squats. Let's bend those legs, get low. Try to bend the knees, not forward fold. Ooh, looking good. My 10. Ah, nice work. Okay, now we have swings. So pick both weights up and we'll do 10 swings. Just rest in style. Just need to go about halfway up, whatever is your normal pop place you pop to. Then we're gonna go into seated Russian twist. One, one. Feet can be down or up, but I need you to lean back a little bit. Then we have double pop squats. Remember you squat both ways. If you just stay in your squat, it works. That's look good. Yep, you don't need to drop your head on those. Those look great. All right, we'll have about two seconds to recover and then we'll go to 15. This is a great time, like I said. To grab a drink. When you push through a set like this without a break, it's good to take a little break. Let your body recharge. <clears throat> this is our count of 15. All right, I'm going to start them. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I love it. Good bend in the arms. There we go. Nice job. Shake them out. We got our drop squats. 
feet nice and wide. There we go. So when I talk about dropping the head, what I mean is you don't drop your head, the top of your head to the ground. Obviously your head, your whole body drops. Keep going. But you're dropping here, not here. Right? Good. You're doing great. I won't do a full 15 on these. I'll watch some of y'all. And when you're done, I'll be done since I stop to demo. Woo. Remember, swings will be next. So you can start your 15 swings whenever you're done with 15 of these bad boys. Yep, feel free to go ahead and start. Looks like everybody's finishing up. Woo! Keep your shoulders dropped. Abs in. Rush and twist are next. Ah. Nice work. Then pop squats. Get to take a break after your pop squats. Grab a drink. Whew. Clap for yourself. Still have 20, but you know. Last hour, Moses was on the camera and he would clap for us whenever we were done with the round. I was like, we need that encouragement, right? We need to be clapping and high-fiving for ourselves. It's helpful. We deserve it. We're doing good. <laughs> All right, I'm filling some 20s. It's our last round of these. Let's go. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You know, I could count that high, did you? I know, I usually start counting backwards after 10. So maybe roll your wrist a little bit. We got the drop squats. All right. Let's do it. Good. You get all the way down, all the way up. Dropping your butt. Well, to do these, two more for me. You're probably close. You might be done. Woo! Ah, swings at your next set. Woo! 20 swings. Woo! 
Woo. Wow, yep. 20 swings is a lot, do you feel? I do. Brush and twist, getting it far, leaning back. Ah, uh, nice. Yep. And double pop squats. You're doing amazing. So good. Oh, guys, that was awesome. Yay. You can keep finishing up. You're doing amazing. Grabbing a drink. So, so good. So we're taking just a little bit longer recovery because we have a new set. Same kind of count, different exercises. We're going to start with sumo bicep curl, sumo bicep curl. That'll be our first one. Our second one is going to be halo slams, but with a weight. I think we did a Monday or went recently without a weight. This time we're going to hold one weight, halo, but I want you to get to the ground. So I want you to try to get down here. Don't smash your fingers, but come close. Then we're going to do deadlift row, stand it up. We'll do those. Then we're going to do our box jumps or run ups. So, if you can jump on the box, give it a try, especially on the set of five. And um, you can jump up and step off, that's easier on your back. Or you can do jump squats, or you can do butt kick runs. So, those are some options. Then, our uh, last one is just that snatch alternating arm snatch. All right. So that's our exercises, sumo curl, halo slams, deadlifts with a row, box jumps, and snaps. Okay, we're good. Let's do it. We're starting with sumo curls. Four, five, four, five. <laughs> five, let's go. Low, up, two, three, four, five. Woo, hit that weight down. Halo, slam it. Let's go. Halo to the ground. Bend those knees. Get low. I know you probably are uneven, but start the opposite way when we do our 15s and you'll be good. Okay. Roll your shoulders back and down. Abs in. Weight on the heels. Deadlift with the row. Down. Pull. Stand it up. Down. Row. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, down, pull, down, pull, one more, down, pull. Good, we have snatches, alternating arms. If you wanna do six, so you'll be even, it's totally fine. Sure, I'll do it with you. It'll help all my anal people that are like, I can't do five. Rochelle's not on here, but that, I would call her out for sure. She would have to do this. Okay, taking a short break, and we're going back to it. So we'll start with sumo and curl again. Nice work, guys. Ah. Oh, box jumps. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Takes the village. It is written on my board, and I still forgot it. Box jumps, let's go. Or run-ups, or jump squats. If you're jumping, you want to land soft. Don't pound on those knees. Seriously, if you think on, I could remember five exercises or look at the board and read them. 
Okay, sumo curl. Now we got tens. All right, Holly, you keep me in line. How about it? Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, low, woo, two, and one. Halo slams. Won't matter what side you start with, you'll be even. Woo! That's my seven, eight, nine, and ten. I never know. Do you finish ten? I get a little confused on that one. Okay. Now, deadlift and row. This time, we're going to do five of them with our palms forward, five with our palms backwards. I'll face this way so you can see. Deadlift, wide row, stand it up. Deadlift, wide row. Oh, these are a little harder, am I right? Woo! Try to keep your arms wide. Then we'll flip them to the back, same thing, arms wide. Woo! Good. Full body right here. Keep your weight on your heels, you're working your hamstrings. Uh, we get to do box jumps or run up, jump squat, butt to run. You can mix it up. If I was stepping, I'd be here. Either one is good. And then you have your snatches. Woo! Alternating arms, driving from the hips. So you may notice that you need a recovery a little more than you did on that first set of exercises. That makes sense. You've been going longer. Your body's getting tired, but we got a lot left in this, so no worries. You, you got this. I'm just saying it's okay to take your short rest. You need it. <clears throat> it's okay to need it more than you did. Okay, it's our set of 15. Yep. Whew. Take it inhale, exhale. Grab those weights. Sumo curl. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five to go. Five. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Halo slams. One weight down. Here it is. Let's do it. Over, down. Phew. Back, lower body. So good. All right, we got our deadlift with your rows. Oh, I think I only did 10 of those instead of 15. Sorry, my bad. We're on 15, right? Yeah, okay, so on these, We'll do five with the palms facing in, five with the palms facing back, five with them facing forward. Let's go. Down, row, stand it up. I always wonder why y'all are so slow. Ha <laughs> ha, I did five left. 
You weren't slow at all. Woo. All right, so now I'm gonna do five with my palms to the back. Oh, give that good intentional lift and squeeze. Oh, good. Woo. And then flip those hands to the front for your last five. Great job, guys. You look good. Keep your arms wide. Stay hinged while you row. And then stand up. Nice. Then we have box jumps, jump squats, run ups, back kicks. You can mix it up. I'm going to do a few run ups. Then you have your snatches. Some of you are already doing them. That's great. Feel free to do 16 if you want to be even. I did 16, I won't lie. It kind of bugs me too. To, or I have to really think about it, start the odd sets on a different side. That's a lot of thinking, especially obviously for me. We're doing so good. We have our set of 20s. Ah, nice and strong, everybody. Looks really good today. Take a few intentional breaths, just, you can exhale nose or mouth, but get, fill those lungs up, let your shoulders kind of drop. And we'll start our final round of these, woohoo! Let's grab those weights. Ready, let's go. One, three, four, five, six, Seven, keep your shoulders back. Eight, elbows down. Yep. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo! Halo slams. All right. Let's do it. Over to the ground. Don't cheat yourself. Woo. I'll do my whole 20, speaking of cheating. Oh, okay, we have our deadlift rows. I'm gonna do six each direction, in, back, front, and then you have two of your choice. I can still do math. So I'm gonna start with my palms facing in. I'm gonna hinge forward, row, bring it up. Good. Woo! That was six for me, so I'm gonna turn my palms to the back. 
or wherever you want. You're doing great. Keep it going. Woo! My second six, so I'm turning my palms to the front. Remember, you'll have two that are your choice. Who's with me? Going in. <laughs> ah, nice. Okay, we got those box jumps, run ups, jump squats, butt kicks. Mix it up. So I'm about to go. You can do snatches when you're ready. Woo! You're doing awesome. Y'all, oh, so good. I have 10 to go. Woo! Ah. Oh. Be finishing up, you did amazing. We're not quite done. So I know we've already done full body, including core, but we're finishing with core. Same kind of set. I'm not expecting us to get to our 20s. You're welcome. If we do, great, we'll go for it. But so far today, We've only gotten to our 15s. So, um, so our exercises are on the mat. We will start seated with one weight. So we're gonna do a weighted sit up. On the first one, we'll bring the weight overhead and then we'll take it one side and then the other because it's an uneven number. So you gotta do one to the middle. We'll take about, Three more breaths and then we'll start it. Let your heart rate come down just a little bit. Nice work. Okay, let's grab that weight. Grab that weight. You're gonna take it all the way back and all the way up overhead and back again. But now we rotate the others because we're only up five reps. Four and five. And then we put our weight down and we're gonna bicycle. Counting them one, one. So one, two, three, four, five. Woo! And we're turning it over for a plank hip drop. Um, plank stall, not plank hip drop, plank stall, front and back. So getting your tight plank and front and back. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna take it to our side. And we're going to do cherry pickers. You can have the bottom knee front, I mean bent, front, or stacked. Right up here. So we're going all the way under. It's super tempting to go fast on these. Don't do that. You're going to get so much more out of it if you take your time and rotate. We have five each side. You can just turn it over when you're done. You look great. Pull your abs in. Woo!
And then your last exercise, fifth exercise is canoe to boat, high boat, low boat. So we're right here. We go here, that's one, that's two, that's three. And you could hold your thighs to help you come up if you need right here, or you could put your hands down. So those are your options. Okay, you know the drill. We're gonna do the same thing for 10. So when you're done with that, grab your weight. This time you can just start with the rotation. It's an even number. Up and rotate. Woo! Then you have bicycles, counting them one, one. You're doing great. Nice. Plank saws are after bicycles. You want to tighten up before you saw, and you go as far front and as far back as you can without losing your connection. And we have side plank cherry pickers. Stay tight, take your time. I'll show those other options here. It would be with a knee bent, the bottom knee bent, but my hips are still off the ground. I'll show it option two on the next side. So you would take a leg in front. It just gives you a little more stability. And when you stack them, so you could do it here. Oh, those side plank cherry pickers are tough. Whew. All right, high boat to low boat is your final. Yeah, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the 15. <clears throat> it's gonna take us a little bit into our stretching time. So, cause it's eight, 10. So if you need to get going and you wanna go ahead and stretch, not a bad option. I'm gonna do this set of 15. Oh yeah, you need to do one to the middle. So you're even, you know, we don't wanna cheat one side. Those are good. Okay, we have bicycles after those. One, one. Let the hands support the head. Plank saws. I'm really looking forward to the side plank. How about you? No, not at all. Ah, I've done the worst. Side plank cherry pickers. They're fine for five, right? I love them for five. <laughs> Woo. 
I don't know why I ever do shoulder work because we get so much shoulder work on our planks. Woo! And we do a lot of them. Ah! I'm going to be on my second side of these. Maybe canoe to boat is the one you don't like. I know a lot of this is not your favorite. I want, this one doesn't bother me as bad. All our bodies are different, right? You're doing great. Oh, y'all, you did so good. And it's great if you're finishing up. Take your time. Or if you feel really crazy and you want to do your 20s, I say, woohoo, you go. I'm going to stretch. So I'm going to take both knees to the right. Look over my left shoulder. I think I'll do some gold post arm kind of stretch. Open up my shoulders at the same time. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take that leg that's hanging out on touching the ground and cross it over the other one. Give a bigger stretch to my back. Nice work, everyone. Okay, and cross. Go the other way. Lift the opposite direction. Relax into it before you pick up that bottom leg. Now, bottom leg. Back to the center. We're going to pull both thighs in nice and close. Kind of release that back. Maybe a slight sway side to side. We did those snatches. Now pull them in closer. We'll do a hamstring stretch. We did snatches and swings. You remember those swings? They were so long ago, I feel. Oh, pull in a little closer and switch it out. So, Remember what I said about the beginning at the beginning about stretching. So beneficial. Obviously, we're not doing 30 minutes. Unless you have time, you can keep stretching for 30 minutes. But I would love for you to join me tomorrow for stretching. All right, keep holding on to that leg. Cross the other one over for a number four stretch and pull back in. Because if it lowers your blood pressure, that means it's also like letting the blood flow through your heart and lungs faster, flow through, flow through all your whole body, through your veins. So switch. <clears throat> and it's helping you de-stress, right? One of the things that raises our blood pressure is stress and anxiety. The best part of it, yoga, stretching, All right, I also want to press, to roll to the side and take the heel close to your butt. You could grab the heel of your shoe, wrap your towel around your ankle if you can't get the foot. And go the other way. My daughter and son-in-law that just got married, so they're like 20, she, she just had a birthday, 22. Um, anyway, she was talking about how she is still has lost so much flexibility. She was always a dancer, cheerleader, you know, all that stuff. I said, yeah, it's going to go quick. You better start stretching and push up. I said, you can watch, you can stretch while y'all can stretch while you, uh, Watch TV. 
Her husband seemed more interested than her. He's asking me questions. How long should we stretch? Because I said, why are you watching a movie? He said, should we stretch the whole two hours? <laughs> I said, well, you could, but you don't have to. <laughs> I don't think I've ever stretched for two hours, but who knows? All right, let's take it into downward dog and pedal those feet. And push both heels down. Walk your hands in nice and close. Hang right there. Come all the way up. Make your open and close, releasing the chest and back. Remember, this is a good little stretch to do after you've been working on the computer for a while. Big inhale and exhale. Nice work, everyone. You did awesome.